Hey Nutshellers, Kristen here. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a multi-step zap. What that means is that whenever someone completes a form online or um, in this in today's example we're going to be using a Google spreadsheet, Nutshell will automatically create a person, company, and lead page and connect them all, all without you doing a thing. So let's talk about how to create that template today so that you can automatically create leads in Nutshell and save loads of time. On Zapier's website, I'm going to choose Make a Zap in the upper right corner. My first step will be to choose a trigger app. What that means is where the action begins. So for the example, like I said, we're going to be using a Google spreadsheet and I'll tell Zapier anytime I have a new spreadsheet row, I would like it to create a person, company, and lead page in Nutshell. Go ahead and choose which spreadsheet you'd like to use in the dropdown. We only have one sheet in that spreadsheet, so I'll choose that one. Click continue. Zapier is constantly testing the connection between Zapier and your other source, so that's why we need to click save and test between each step. All right, now that Zapier is connected with my Google spreadsheet, I'll add an action. Next up, I wanna add Nutshell. What I'll want next is to create a lead. Click Save and Continue. Next, I'll want to connect an account. Here's where I'll need an API key from my Nutshell account. To do that, let's go back to our Nutshell accounts. Click your initials in the lower left. Choose Company Settings and API Keys. We'll add a new API key. Let's call this a Zapier test. And for this, I want API plus user impersonation. Let's go ahead and copy the full API key before going back to our Zapier build. The email address you include on that page will be the email address you used to log into Nutshell. Click Save and Continue. Now it's time to start building our template for how our lead pages will be created. And click the icon on the right, choose an object you'd like to map to the lead description or lead name field. I'll use the company name for this example. You can also map other fields in this builder, such as products, markets, pipelines, even lead assignees. The next step is really important. I'll need to add a search step for my related company. Choose your company name from your spreadsheet drop down and check the box that says create nutshell company if it doesn't exist yet. Zapier will then ask you to map object to field so that it knows exactly how to create the company page to your liking. Once you've mapped all of the fields you'd like to appear on your company page, click continue. Looks good to me. Our test was successful, so we can go back to our lead template. So far, we have our lead name, related company, and now it's time to add a search step to relate your person to the lead and company as well. We'll use email address as our required field. Check the box to the left of create nutshell person if it doesn't exist yet, so we can begin mapping the name of our contact. I like to add a space between first and last name. To finish up, we we'll wanna make sure this person is related to our company. So in the drop down next to related company, we'll add a custom value and use the company name we created in step two. Looks like our Zep is working. Let's take a peek at what this looks like inside of Nutshell. Here's my spreadsheet, and here's my newly created lead inside of Nutshell. That's it for now. Happy nutshelling. shelling.